Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk to you about a new solution for a custom object that we're calling the onboarding object. Now, when you think of onboarding, typically that begins when the sales process ends. So if you're a salesperson and you take your opportunity through to a closed one status, that's when the fun starts, right? We're gonna get everybody together, get the project team involved and start working on the project. In many cases, that process is held outside of Salesforce. I can't tell you how many orgs I've worked with that once the opportunity goes to closed one, everything related to implementation is downstream and falls upon multiple departments and many people don't really communicate well in that manner because they're all using different methods to engage. Our onboarding solution is a way or a vehicle to deliver the final project and to get multiple departments on board with not only using Salesforce but focusing on the opportunity and the project at hand as a group. So what we'll show you today is the onboarding solution that we built and a little bit uh, of a view of a list view just to see how you can manage projects if you are a project manager. So here I have an opportunity that I'm gonna take into a closed one status. So I'm a salesperson, I got my award notification, and we're, we're ready. Client signed, we're ready to go. So I'm changing this to a closed one. And what that not only does, as you see, we're celebrating that fact. On the right side of my screen is a related list and you'll see an onboarding record has been created. So we've already automated the process to get this onboarding process started. And it's related to the opportunity. So let's click on that record and start taking a look at what it is that we need to do as far as next steps. So the onboarding record is a way to create accountability. It's a way to assign out tasks to multiple departments that need to get involved in this project. And typically, you know, you have a sales operations lead managing that whole process. So here you'll see we have the opportunity name, we have the client, the close date, the amount of the project that's been won. This is in a new status because we just launched it. Uh, once we progress through the project itself, we can change the status to in progress, to finalizing, to finally launched. You'll see many sections and each section represents a department. So here I have sales. And what does sales need to do? What are the next steps after we've uh, brought this client in? Well, they need to schedule an internal meeting to get everyone together involved to discuss next steps. They have to submit a contract request and also send that survey to the client. All right, we're gonna hit save. Sales did their job and now we're creating an onboarding history on the right side here, you can see. We need to get sales operations involved here too. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna assign a sales ops lead so that we'll say Doug uh, starts creating tasks for the project team. Sales operations typically has other jobs to do, right? So they're gonna review the closed one checklist to make sure that everything's there that needs to be there, update some commission tables, and assign project team members. Now let's save that record. So now we're building not only a history, but we're building accountability because we're assigning ownership to these tasks. Contracts. So sales submits their contracts request. Contracts is going to be assigned to this client, right? We're gonna populate who the coordinator is and take a look at populating, oh, when was that MSA created? Did we deliver it to the client? I'm gonna populate those dates. Did the client sign it? Great, we got that information too. Was the SOW created yet? Great, we're gonna populate that date. Uh, was it sent to the client? Was it signed? 
So by capturing all these dates, not only are we capturing, you know, once again, accountability, but we're making all of this reportable. We're gonna have Shannon be the main contract approver. Let's hit save. All right, who's next on our list? IT, we have to get IT involved in this project. So we're gonna assign an IT coordinator. What does IT need to do? They have to set the client up in backend systems, maybe create a JIRA profile. As you can see, we have marketing. Marketing needs to be assigned here. So they have to send that welcome package. They have to schedule client engagement journeys. Uh, who else? We have finance. We're going to assign finance. They have to set up the client's billing and create their invoice delivery. And lastly, a project coordinator. We're going to assign Mary. She's got to schedule that kickoff meeting because that's important. And save all this information. So now you've created an onboarding plan. You've created an accountability process. And you've created the vehicle to get all of these indiv individuals in to Salesforce and using it. So you're building adoption. You can upload files to this record. You can assign tasks directly from the onboarding record too. And once you take it through the stages, I mean, you're gonna go through in progress to finalizing to launched. Mind you, the sales operations lead could be the one who's actually accountable for the record itself. So we wanna to get to a point where we're launching the project Obviously, we want to celebrate that. You can go as far as setting up notifications when certain milestones are hit. Say that SOW comes back signed and we want to notify everyone that it's signed, the work's approved, and we're moving forward. You can set up a notification process for that, either an email notification or using your notification process here. So next up, we can take a look to see how a list view looks against all the outstanding projects that are out there, right? So let's take a look at what we have left to onboard and who needs to be assigned. So as you can see, I'm sorting by these columns. We have to assign finance to this one so we can easily assign ownership from the list view. Looks like marketing needs to be assigned here, so we'll populate marketing here. And lastly, oh my gosh, sales operations wasn't assigned to this one. Well, we got to get that person in there right away. So as you can see, bridging the gap, not only bringing people together by using Salesforce, you can create accountability by having all these departments interacting on this one particular client so that you have a successful kickoff.